I thought I would just introduce you to Ronan. We picked him up yesterday from a friend of ours, and um, she's had him for about eight years, and I've ridden him a couple times um, quite a while ago at her place, and she's just reached a point in her life where she just can't uh, have horses anymore. So he'll be here for a bit, well, as long as he needs really, to kind of do a refresher on him and see where he's at. He's really been a trail horse his whole life, kind of just point and go. And I'm going to be using him, the plan is to use him this weekend in our clinic. So I'm doing a clinic, the Happy Horse, Happy Life Clinic. Um, it's Linda Pirelli's information. So most of you know that I have a background in Pirelli Natural Horsemanship. And in the Pirelli program, a lot of that is teaching people techniques and patterns. And so what Linda's done is <laughs> put together um, modules that help with strategies. So if your horse is not relaxed, what can you do to help them get relaxed? If they're not responsive, what can you do to get them responsive? So that's what we're going to be covering this weekend. It doesn't matter if you ride in an arena, if you ride outside, if you do obstacle challenges, if you do cow things. It doesn't really matter what you do with your horse. It's really important that they're relaxed and that they can think. And when I say relaxed, I don't mean half asleep and, you know, not there. They gotta be in class. But I don't want my horses tight and nervous and scared. I want them relaxed and ready to learn. And I also need them responsive. When I apply some pressure, light pressure, they need to move away from that pressure. Or if I give them a space to go, they need to go to that space. So that's what we're gonna be covering this weekend. Um, we've got a couple spots open on Saturday and one on Sunday. It's $200 for the day, it includes a day stall and lunch. And uh, you'll be able to meet Ronan. And like I said, I plan to use him. We're gonna be doing ground stuff in the morning and then riding in the afternoon. And I really want to help you with your horse in whatever area you guys need help in. If you need help in the arena, if you need help riding alone, if you need help riding in a group, if you need help riding outside of the arena, these are all areas where your horse needs to be relaxed and they need to be responsive for you to be safe. <laughs> so, pretty heavy and dull right there. And then after this weekend, we're going to be doing another clinic on confidence. And that's where we're going to be really hitting the trails and hitting obstacles. And is your horse confident in groups? Are they confident alone? Are they confident, you know, with water and all that other stuff? So Linda has just put together an amazing program of different strategies. And then because I ride with other horsemen, Tom Curtin and Martin Black and Joe Walter, I'm able to add in the things that I've learned from them into the modules that Linda has already set up. So I hope you can join us. It's always a lot of fun. And um, you know, I just want you to have the best partnership with your horse that you can have. So. Hey, I wanted to mention to you also, um, a really good reason why I like to do clinics is it gives me quality time with my horse. So I'm hoping to sign up for a couple more clinics later in the fall with Rocky, the younger horse, just so I can have a full day or two days or three days where it's just him and I. And kind of, I don't need to think about a plan. Um, I mean, I, of course, always think about how we feel in whatever we're doing, but it's just really enjoyable for me to spend quality time with my horse and have that real bond.